Brian Alexander, Glass House, The 1% Economy and the Shattering of the All-American Town. Dive into the gripping tale of Lancaster, Ohio, once a thriving American town emblematic of the nation's industrious spirit, anchored by the prosperous glass factory, Anchor Hawking. As you explore the book's summary of I Glass House, The 1% Economy and the Shattering of the All-American Town, by Brian Alexander, you'll witness the disintegration of this once idyllic community. Unravel the complex factors that led to the downfall of Lancaster, including the detrimental effects of corporate greed, mismanagement, and unregulated free market capitalism. Discover how the town's citizens responded, and how their experiences serve as a microcosm for similar towns across the country. Lancaster's Lost Glory Lancaster, Ohio, once epitomized the American dream with its thriving glass factory, Anchor Hawking, employing thousands of residents. The picturesque town was characterized by prosperous families, active community involvement, and a sense of camaraderie among people from different classes. Although not immune to typical small-town troubles, Lancaster stood as a beacon of a simpler time when hard work and pride in one's occupation were the norm. Sadly, this idyllic vision of Americana has faded over the years. Lancaster, Ohio, was once a paragon of the quintessential American town. Its bustling heart lay in the Anchor Hawking Glass Factory, which offered employment to over 5,000 proud citizens. This dynamic community was graced with a charming town center, where neighbors greeted each other warmly. In Lancaster, people like Herb George exemplified the town's values. He rose through the ranks at Anchor Hawking, while his wife, Nancy, wholeheartedly contributed to local causes. Such families embodied Lancaster's spirit between the 1940s and 1960s, husbands worked diligently at the factory, and wives eagerly pursued community betterment through projects like vaccination drives and sidewalk improvements. Children in Lancaster enjoyed freedom and friendly bonds transcending social barriers. The town exuded a sense of unity, with factory executives and workers interacting in local taverns, and job offers stemming from such casual encounters. It was not unusual for young men to begin working at Anchor Hawking immediately after high school, confidently anticipating a stable career and eventually retiring with a comfortable pension. Residents of Lancaster might not have indulged in extravagance, but they could savor the security and dignity that came from an honest living. Though not untouched by trivial scandals, substance abuse, or occasional poverty, the town represented an almost cinematic image of American small-town life. So much so, that its picturesque scenery was chosen as the backdrop for the 1948 movie, Green Grass of Wyoming. Unfortunately, this enchanting portrait of Lancaster has faded over time, leaving us to reminisce about a bygone era when hard work and community spirit were the essence of the American dream. Lancaster's Unraveled Dreams Lancaster, once a thriving factory town, has faced a tragic decline characterized by drug addiction, unemployment, and bankruptcy, with a significant number of children living with grandparents due to their parents' incarceration. The downfall roots back to the 1980s when Anchor Hawking Factory suffered from poor management and the influence of greedy private equity financiers like corporate raider Carl Icahn. His green mailing tactic led to making millions at the expense of Lancaster, inviting other corporate sharks to prey on Anchor Hawking. The memory of Lancaster's prosperous past is a stark contrast to its current state, plagued with drug addiction, unemployment, and bankruptcy. The once thriving factory town's landscape is now marked with neglected and crumbling houses and buildings. With many parents in jail, a significant number of children are dependent on their grandparents for care. In Fairfield County, Ohio, where Lancaster is located, an alarming 58% of children in the social service program have parents struggling with an opiate addiction, and this number reaches over 79% in the neighboring Hawking County. Drugs initially seemed like an escape from the dreary realities of Lancaster, but they only sparked further challenges. Even the man leading the city's major crimes unit feels a profound sense of sadness as he makes drug-related arrests involving people he grew up with, some of whom were teammates from his high school football days. 
hopeful old-timers in Lancaster continue to uphold the values of small-town decency, reminiscent of a long-gone era. Even though some believe outsiders are the cause of their town's collapse, the unpleasant truth is that it originated from within. The 1980s were particularly devastating for the anchor hawking factory as it suffered from a volatile mix of inadequate management and the influence of money-hungry private equity financiers. The corporate raider Carl Icahn played a significant role by utilizing a tactic called greenmailing, which ultimately cost Anchor Hawking millions and invited other predators to exploit the struggling factory. The Destructive Corporate Buyout The Anchor Hawking Glass Factory serves as a cautionary tale of the devastating impact a corporate buyout can have not only on a business but on an entire community. Anchor Hawking, once a prosperous factory, faced bleak times after Icon's takeover in 1983. Initially, a buyout of part of the company forced relocation to Tampa, Florida, leaving Lancaster plant workers in precarious situations. Subsequent acquisitions by investment firms using borrowed money brought Anchor Hawking closer to bankruptcy. Each owner had one goal in mind, make a profit by flipping the company. To achieve this, they enforced cost-cutting measures and demanded union concessions, causing essential renovations and repairs to be neglected, and resulting in outdated facilities incapable of producing state-of-the-art products. Inevitably, fixed pensions were replaced by 401k retirement plans, reducing employer contributions over time, and shattering the promise of a secure retirement for employees. The constant ownership changes tore the soul out of the town, dissolving any connection between the company and the local community. The Anchor Hawking Downfall The decline of the Anchor Hawking Glass Factory showcases the damaging aftermath of corporate buyouts and their devastating effects on an entire community. Following Icon's raid in 1983, the company experienced a series of buyouts, each one plunging it deeper into financial turmoil. With each investment firm's acquisition, the company was forced to adopt cost-cutting measures and negotiate union concessions. As a result, renovations and repairs fell by the wayside, leaving the factory and its products increasingly outdated. The community of Lancaster suffered greatly as a direct result of these buyouts, with executives being let go and the once-thriving plant facing closure. The shift from fixed pensions to unpredictable 401k plans contributed to the erosion of job security and the prospect of a stable retirement for the employees. Through a cycle of corporate greed and cost-cutting, both the company and the town of Lancaster paid a heavy price and saw their once bright futures dimmed. Lancaster's Unraveling, Who's to Blame? The decline of Lancaster has often been debated, with various groups facing blame for the town's problems. However, it is the actions of private equity firms and poor local political decisions that have caused significant harm. By relocating company headquarters and engaging in financial exploitation, this contributed to the breakdown of the once-thriving community. Additionally, local politicians have made desperate attempts to save jobs, resulting in long-term damage to the town's resources and infrastructure. Although some individuals, like reporter Kevin D. Williamson, assert that the white working-class residents of Lancaster are responsible for their town's decline due to their alleged crude and selfish behavior, this argument fails to consider the widespread financial exploitation that the town endured over the years. Such exploitation resulted from private equity vampires moving company headquarters, severing the connection between business leadership and the community. These relocated executives no longer contributed to local taxes or community fundraising, exacerbating the town's struggles. Desperate politicians granted business incentives, such as free land, to prevent further job loss. Yet, these actions harmed Lancaster's resources, like the $50,000 budget cut to public schools in 2003. Local politicians also made poor decisions, like borrowing funds from short-term lenders with astronomical interest rates. While some critics blame unionized workers for demanding high wages, it is crucial to recognize the real culprits behind Lancaster's suffering, the unscrupulous business practices and misguided political decisions that destroyed the town from within. Lancaster's Faded American Dream Lancaster, a Midwestern town in the swing state of Ohio, played a significant role in the 2016 election, 
with 61% of its Fairfield County residents voting for Donald Trump. The people of Lancaster were driven to despair, causing them to cast their votes in an effort to shift their situation. But to comprehend their despair, we need to dig deeper and review the origins of their circumstances. Lancaster residents admire figures like Ronald Reagan and Milton Friedman, who advocated for a free market with a survival of the fittest mindset. Ironically, this very ideology led to the financial catastrophe that trapped Lancaster. Selfish executives at Monomoy Capital Partners, Cerberus Capital Management, and other firms drained Lancaster of its lifeblood, with Cerberus founder Carl Icahn also acting as one of Trump's key economic advisors. However, many Lancaster citizens remain unaware of the true cause of their town's decline, thanks largely to Fox News and conservative commentators who cloak the reality. To grasp the death of the American dream, we must uncover the complex narratives that unravel in towns like Lancaster, where that dream once flourished. After delving into the powerful story of Lancaster and the implosion of Anchor Hawking, it becomes vividly clear that the town's collapse was no isolated phenomenon. The distress of Lancaster's residents, mirrored by so many other communities, reveals the dark side of unregulated capitalism and corporate buyouts. Recognizing the impact of these forces on the heart of America is pivotal for understanding the erosion of the American dream. Through examining the case of Lancaster, we grasp the deeper significance of what drives widespread suffering, despair, and political upheaval in towns that once embodied the essence of American strength and unity.